We're here at UTMC with Dr. Kathy Baddock, and she is an associate professor of pediatrics and part of the group University Pediatrics. And we're talking about nutrition and hydration in the summer months. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of kids not so excited about fruits and vegetables. What opportunity do we have now? Well, obviously, with that being said, I think it's one of the biggest challenges is trying to get kids engaged in the process of eating healthy. Uh, and so summer months can be a great opportunity because you have lots of options for fresh fruits and vegetables, uh, especially going to local farmer's markets like downtown, um, going to an orchard, strawberry field, picking your own vegetables and fruits. And that's a way for kids to get involved and oftentimes take actually eating things they normally wouldn't eat. Yeah, because they're seasonal and fresh and look mm -hmm. so good, it, it mm -hmm. really is a great opportunity. Do you recommend having the kids help with prep of food as well? Absolutely. Um, one of the biggest things that they have found over time is if you engage the children with preparing the food, so not only picking out what they're going to eat, but preparing it too, you know, keeping in mind that knives can be dangerous, so you have to watch that. Um, but really allowing them to get their hands dirty, wash, you know, and help um, put the vegetables together and fruits together, that they're much more likely to actually try and eat them. Some smart tricks there. <laughs> now let's move on to hydration. We've had some hot weather this summer, and uh, even adults can probably use reminders about this. What should we be drinking to keep ourselves healthy? Water is the best option, um, number one, and generally you're looking for most adults about 64 ounces a day, mm -hmm. uh, and that is non-caffeinated beverages, so those are, you know, not including your coffee and your teas and things like that. Okay. Does herb tea count if it's non-caffeinated as a, as a water beverage? Do juices count? How do you count other things? Absolutely. Um, generally, those would be fine uh, as long as they don't have caffeine. Ca caffeine, because it makes you urinate more, mm -hmm. it subtracts from your hydration. So you have to keep that in mind as you're counting those things up. Um, the big thing is the perfect part of water is it doesn't have any calories. So for all of us who are watching our weight a little bit more in the summer, mm -hmm. um, better to stay with the non-caloric beverages. And so kind of trying to stay away from things like juice that have a lot more calories and pop um, that obviously is both caffeine and calories can be um, more detrimental to put a few extra pounds on the waistline. Well, even though sports drinks can do that too because many of them are full of sugar. Absolutely, they are, um, which people don't always realize and usually the serving size is about three in one of those bottles. Um, from some particular sports drinks that you would have heavily marketed. Mm -hmm. uh, and so unless you are profusely sweating and really, really out there engaged in summer activities, you don't really need the extra salts that come along with that. So really sticking with good old water that's pretty cheap and easy okay. is the best bet. Well, that's some excellent advice, good reminders for all of us, and, and hopefully a lot of people can get extra fruits and vegetables and Absolutely. water into their kids. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Dr. Kathy Baddock, and that is tonight's Talk Back at UTMC.